Hello everyone, it's Forays or Dave here, and welcome to a video where I'm going to be explaining how you guys on PC who are playing Fallout 4 can improve your experience with a couple of different changes to the config files and some of the graphical settings to make the game run that much smoother and get that much, that much better experience. I've actually sunk about 12 hours or so into Fallout 4 now. I had a massive like 14 hour play session yesterday with a couple of breaks in between. My body does not feel good afterwards. I ate a lot of random bad food and I enjoyed the game a lot. It's super fun if you're a Fallout fan. Uh, it's more of it's more of the same, but in a good way. It's it brings all the great things from the old Fallout games, but it brings them next gen. Yes, yeah, some of the textures are still like looking quite old. Yes, yeah, some of the mechanics still feel a bit old, but that is Fallout, you know. If you like Fallout games, then you will love Fallout 4. Go get it. Just go get it. Go play it. But on the PC, unfortunately, it is it is a port. It definitely it must be a port. Um, just because of how it feels, there's a lot of things which are very console based. And uh, it feels a, it feels a bit annoying. Now, of course, if you're having any issues with your mouse, you can use a controller. Um, I don't like using a controller for games like Fallout. I don't like controlling the menus with a with a stick. Um, but there's a lot of the controls that definitely feel like it's better suited to a controller. Um, but I, I prefer using keyboard and mouse, as do most PC users, hence why we play PC. And also because we want those amazing graphics, which you can get absolutely great graphics out of this game and not suffer too much FPS with the correct settings. Okay, what we're going to do, first of all, is fix the mouse issues. There's a couple of mouse issues with, mouse, mouse issues with the game. Uh, this is pretty natural for any port that comes to the PC. It's just the mouse is always the first thing. It always feels horrible. Uh, and I'm going to explain how we can... Uh, fix that. So we're going to want to come to this folder. This folder is in your documents. Uh, you want to go to my games, Fallout 4, and then you'll be greeted with this file with a folder called saves, Fallout 4 any, Fallout 4 custom any, and Fallout 4 prefs .ini. The two main files we're going to be looking at are Fallout 4 any and Fallout 4 prefs any. The first thing we need to do is fix the mouse acceleration. No one likes mouse acceleration at all. It's it's horrible. If you don't know what mouse acceleration is, it basically means if you move your mouse faster on your mouse mat, then the actual game sensitivity is almost higher. Um, you don't want that. It makes your aiming really horrible, and it just adds to a load of jittering issues. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into fallout4.ini. Uh, we're going to scroll down to controls. And what you want to do is you want to add, this, this line won't be there to start with, you want to add this line, B mouse acceleration equals zero. Now I'm going to put all of this in the description uh, so that you guys can follow along and all, all the steps. So you can just literally copy and paste B mouse acceleration equals zero. That means your mouse acceleration will be gone. But we also need to put it into, if we just close this, fall up for prefs any. The same thing you want to search for. It's quite hard to see. So let's let's search for control F. Search for control controls. There we go. Controls. And then you just need to add it under control somewhere. So before gameplay, but under control. So I've added it here, right at the bottom. B mouse acceleration equals zero. You need to put it into both of the any files for it to work. Obviously make sure you don't have the game running at this point. Or if you do, maybe reset the game afterwards. I don't know what would happen. I think it would just try and overwrite it while you're playing the game. So make sure the game's exited at this point. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is sort a really weird mouse acceleration issue, not mouse acceleration, just a mouse issue that I didn't really notice. And uh, it's that the Y sensitivity is lower than the X sensitivity, like constantly, no matter what sensitivity you set it at. Um, because it's a port, there is no, you can't set X and Y differently you just set like the overall mouse accelerate uh, the overall mouse sensitivity I keep going back to acceleration the mouse sensitivity um, so we want to turn up the Y sensitivity while leaving the X sensitivity down the reason they do this is because on controllers um, they want you to be able to spin left and right fast without kind of losing up and down uh, control which can happen a lot on controllers whereas on a mouse we want complete control and uh, this is a really good tip I've had a lot more fun playing the game once since I've um Added this in the gun. The gun fighting has been so much better. So you want to go to Fallout 4 any. You want to go down to controls once again. And these two things will be here already. F mouse heading X scale and F mouse heading Y scale. Um, they should be exactly the same for you when you uh, drop in. And um, I've actually done this slightly wrong. That's what it should be. Uh, the Y scale you should change to double whatever the X scale is. So don't change the X scale um, because the X scale is probably what you've set it in game. Um, but you want to turn the Y scale up to double that and when you get back in game you'll feel that up and down now feels the exact same sensitivity as left and right. It might not be exact but it feels basically exact. Unfortunately I could not do maths and I thought 41 was double the 42. Silly, 
me. Okay, next issue is for field of view. Anyone who plays a first person shooter on PC does not want to be playing at locked 70 FOV or 60 FOV or whatever the hell it starts running at. It makes me feel ill playing at that that ugh, that FOV. It's horrible. But it's a, a quick easy fix. Once again, you need to go into both Fallout Prefs and Fallout 4 any. Uh, let's go to the Fallout 4 one first and you want to go to display. You want to add these two lines. Fallout F, F sorry, not Fallout. F default world FOV equals 90 and F default first person FOV equals 90. So you need to add both of these. I don't know exactly what each one does, um, but you want to make sure that I think I think the first person one is kind of the your field of view of like kind of your HUD and everything, and then the world is kind of the field of view of the world around you. That's what I think it is. And I set it to 90. If you guys haven't changed field of view in a lot of games before and you're trying out changing field of view, change it to 90. I think 90 is a very nice field of view to run at. It just it just makes your gun seem a little bit further away from you. It's not like in your face. Like It's not like you've got your gun attached to your eye, which like some of the guns are really big in this game and it really looks like that when you've got this field of view. So just turn it down and you'll, you'll have a much, much better experience. Okay, uh, and you want to also add that to Fallout 4, Fallout 4 prefs in the under display as well. So you, I've just added it at the top because the display bit's really long. So just add it under display at the top. Full out, sorry, F default world FOV equals 90 and F default first person FOV equals 90. Awesome. That is all of the um, config and stuff done. One thing I should have added at the beginning really, and this is a really important one, is if you, have, if you haven't updated your... Um, your NVIDIA or AMD drivers to the latest drivers. I know NVIDIA put a patch out yesterday, so for any of you guys playing today um, or w whenever, you need to get this new game-ready driver. Don't leave it. You know, some people are just like, oh, I'll, leave, I'll leave it and just not update it. Just update it. You know, they're, they're making your, your graphics card ideally run better for, like, yeah, get, get the optimal experience for Fallout 4. Like, why, I don't get why you wouldn't. It's not a massive download. It doesn't take loads of your time. Just do it, okay? You can take time out of playing Fallout 4 to install a new driver, okay? Um, if you get any problems with the new driver and you're definitely sure it's the driver, then yes, you can roll back to the old one. But I've, I've had bet much better performance since I uh, upgraded my drivers. Um, if we just jump on Steam quickly. Um, yes, my name is Sox. Uh, no need to explain that. <laughs> um, and we jump in with Fallout 4. I can explain... Uh, the last main performance help that I have had. So if we press play, we get greeted with a launcher. Um, it's really annoying we can't do our graphic settings inside the game. That's a really big disappointment for me. I don't really get why we're still running with a launcher. It just seems really weird. But we press options, we get Fallout 4 options, and um, you'll probably have had the game set it to whatever it wants, but, and you could have adjusted it. But the main thing we want to adjust is if we go into advanced, and you find God Raise Quality, just turn it to low. Um, your PC might have set it to medium, high, maybe even ultra if you've got an absolute beast PC. Um, unless you're wanting literally, like, the most unreal graphics you could ever get. But it's from a Fallout game, and the Fallout graphics aren't that good anyway. It's not like you're not going to get Witcher-style graphics or Crisis-style graphics. Basically, the god rays are the, um, the rays of the sun kind of coming through trees and through windows and stuff. And it does look really cool, but it crushes your FPS in some of the outdoor sections. Like, literally... It, when I turned this down, I was gaining an extra 10 or so FPS in some of those out, outside sections, and it's it's really, really helpful to just turn it down to low. You keep everything else on high, ultra, whatever the hell you want, but turn them down to low. You don't need to turn them off, but turn them low, because they do look nice. Just turn them low, and, and they won't eat up your all your graphics. Um, one thing to mention is that this game is capped at 60 FPS, yes. It doesn't matter too much. Um, there, is a, there is a way you can go around to unlock the FPS, um, and do some weird things, but I don't really think it's necessary. I haven't really found much need for it. 60 FPS has actually been fine for me on this game. Uh, a lot of people are saying, oh, turn off V-Sync, because then you won't, you, it won't lock it at 60 FPS on your monitor. That's really awesome, yay. Don't turn off V-Sync. Um, there are some sections in the game where the speed of everything going on is locked to your FPS, especially the lock picking. If you turn, if you disable V-Sync and your frames go up to like 500 FPS, lock picking is basically impossible, because as soon as you move your mouse around, like, the, the, the bobby pin just goes like that, and it's just impossible. And there's a lot of other bits in the game where it does not like you doing it. There is a way you can go and turn off V-Sync and kind of limit the FPS as well. I don't really understand the point. Apparently it makes it feel a bit smoother, but I haven't had any problems since. 
One final tip, which has worked for some people, uh, is to run the game at windowed mode boardless. Obviously, when you turn it onto windowed mode boardless, make sure you turn it back to 1080p or whatever your um, monitor is, because it does change it. Um, I've had better results at full screen, but some people have had much better results with boardless windowed. Anyway, guys, that is all of the... Um, tweaks that I have found uh, on scouring the internet on how to get better uh, gameplay in Fallout 4. Hopefully with these changes, you'll have a much smoother experience, especially the mouse ones. They are really important. In a game like this, you don't want to be having jittery mouse when you're trying to shoot loads of bloody raiders and you're smacking quick save every five seconds to try and stay alive, you know? You want to be having good, good, a good mouse and have a good feeling. Obviously, if you want to use a controller, a lot of people do like using the controller, just go with the controller. The controller feels absolutely fine. I'm just really bad with a controller and I prefer having all of this freedom of buttons in front of me. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope this has helped. Uh, I hope to see all of you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.